Gideon minimized what he did and maximized what everybody else did. Gideon let them know it ain't about me. I, I'm, I'm, not the, I'm not the warrior. I was just here. God did it. I was just saying what God said. He worked it through you. He just happened to put me up front, but it wasn't about me. He could have moved me and put anybody in there and get it done. I'm nobody. When God looks for a partner, he looks for a humble person. He looks for a person of faith. He looks for an obedient person. He, he looks for a person who seeks no praise. Then when God looks for a partner, he's looking for somebody who ain't looking for power. See, after the great victory, after, 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 after Gideon went and, and, and brought the great victory against the Midianites, first thing the folks did, we're going to make you king. Because you got it going on. We want you to be our king. Gideon said, no. No, that's not what God called me to do. I'm, I'm not here. I, 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 I'm not here to do that. If you need me, I'll be over there in the corner. But he didn't call me to be king. See, you got to know where God planted you and what he planted you to do. Because you mess around, get to listening to folks, you be messed up. Not only will you be messed up, you be messed up and out of place. I've had people come to me and say, don't you want to run for mayor? I say, wait a minute, back up. I know God ain't called me to do that. Now, I know there's some folks that say God called them into politics. God ain't called me into politics. I'd be stupid to leave the place where he called me and planted me to go do something else because of what people say. Because I learned a long time ago, people will leave you hanging. Amen, lights. People go which way the wind blow. I'm almost through. I'm almost through. See, 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 the problem is that when we start seeking power, we end up negating the greatest power of all. God gave you Holy Ghost power. He has empowered you to be salt and light where he has planted you. Don't you know if God called you to do something, he's given you everything you need to do to do it? All you got to do is do it. When we start building our own little power stations, our own, oh, look at me, I can pick up the phone, I can get four, five folk jumping. They always return my call. No, 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 back up. Folk tell me all the time, oh, y'all got it going on over there at Bethel. Yeah? How's that? You got two city councilmen, you got the chairman of the utility board, you got this going on, you got that going on. Wait a minute. That ain't got nothing to do with what we're doing here. God has talked to those individuals. God is dealing with those individuals, just like he's dealing with everybody else in here. It ain't nothing about KG Jones. I don't have no influence. It take everything I got to be pastor Bethel Baptist Church. I'm going to go run somebody else's job. You got to know where God planted you. And you can't be over there stealing from places you ain't got no business. Uh -huh. God ain't tell you to do that. I'm almost through. I'm almost through. See, when God looks for a partner, he looks for a humble person. He looks for a, a, a person of faith. He looks for an obedient person. He looks for a person who seeks no praise. He looks for a person who seeks no power. And finally, when God looks for a partner, he looks for a person who seeks no personal gain. You see, it was the custom in the ancient Near East that when you defeated your enemy in battle, that you could take all their stuff. That was called the plundering. And the Midianites, you know, see, 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 young folk, you know, we wanna, I wanna put this out here for the young folk. All this bling bling y'all wearing right now, this ain't nothing new. Because see, the Midian soldiers, the Midianite soldiers would have these gold rings in their ears. You know, your status would be dictated by how big your gold ring was. So naturally, after the war was over, there was some folk <laughs> was out there cutting off ears. 
and they would collect all these gold rings. And naturally, if you'd head of the army, you know, you know, if it wasn't for you picking me up in the army, I wouldn't have made get none. Let me throw you a couple. So Gideon could have made out like a bandit with them dead ears. Instead, what Gideon said to them was, bring all the gold to me. Then, when, when they brought all the gold to Gideon, he collected 1,700 shekels of gold. I don't know what the modern equivalent is. I got to go back and check that. But it was enough gold that they were able to build a place of worship and they melted down all that gold and put it in a place of worship. They dedicated it all to God. Now one man kept one of them earrings. Gideon said, ain't about me. Yeah, well, that's well and fine, preacher. What they got to do with us? What, 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 what they got to do with this situation? See, God don't need a whole bunch of folk to do what he going to do. When Gideon decided that, that, that okay, Lord, I'm, I'm going to go and I'm going to lead your army, and the folks got the word, Gideon going to raise up an army. I'm going with Gideon. And he started out, the Bible says he had 32,000 people. Oh, he had an army. He had a whole, whole, whole bunch of folk. And the Lord said, okay, Gideon, you trust me? Go ask your army. Anybody who's faint-hearted or who ain't really into this, give them permission to go home. So Gideon said, look, now I know some of y'all, some of y'all really ain't feeling this. So if you really want to go home, you, you know, you got permission to go. We ain't going to think bad of you. We ain't mad at you. Well, 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 well is that right, Gideon? Well, since you say so, 22,000 people went home. 